Hi everyone, it's me again, and I am here this time to show you um, another tool, the broom. Um, but before I get to that, I would like to show you um, my finished acne, which is this clip right here. It's a letter opener I did. It's painted and glossed, and then I just added some dangly to the end um, for the elements. And we just flash these with some uh, embroidery floss. And then, of course, the Ultra Bell, a really small one with some ribbon, and then another one I just painted um, the little accent that was right here. So, the next one that I said that I was going to do is the fruit. So, you can see right here, so it's like that. Now, the broom is used to sweep away um, not only um, physical debris, it is also used to sweep away um, negative energy in the space that you will be working in with your um, Some people do use the broom, some people sweep out the space with just using um, visual visualization. Um, some people, when they use the broom, don't use it to actually sweep anything um, physical. They just kind of let it hover over the space and then they um, do like a sweeping motion to get rid of the negative energy. Some people do, um, they sweep away whatever is there and going around in a circle. You do it basically however you want to do it. And of course, um, which has had been uh, associated with the broom for hundreds of years, um, from flying on the brooms to go to, um, Sabbaths, where we were supposed to have, um, you know, gotten it on with the devil and eating babies and flying away um, to do whatever, you know, all sorts of things to um, those stories about people jumping over the broom to um, tell the crops how high to grow. And, you know, um, another one is that the broom is used in uh, African. Um, pagan and gypsy weddings, um, jumping over the broom signifies that you're married, that you're going into a different life. And it's also um, for fertility, prosperity, and good luck. Um, and it's known to hang in quite a few homes, um, especially in kitchens, um, for those reasons. So in my next video, I will be telling you exactly how to um, make a broom using a dowel rod and I have some, uh, I guess they would be willow benches. I have no idea what kind of benches they are. I just got them at the craft store because um, they worked well for me when I made my actual broom. So if you have any questions or comments, you can always feel free to leave them or ask me. Thanks. Bye.